Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 134 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to hold a lot of different connections to the prequels and the originals in different ways in order to really answer some of the big revelations and reveals in this movie that's really going to change how we view the past eight Star Wars films that come before this one. And the thing about Rey and her lineage really is going to be a main focus in the second and third acts of episode nine by JJ. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode nine. Now specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Rey traveling to the Lost City, where it's explained that she is going through a location called the Land of Warriors, when searching for pieces of Jedi lore and ancient Sith knowledge to better understand the dark and the light. However, it's said that Rey also travels here to learn more about her parents and to find certain truths. Since it's said that the Lost City serves as a Force Nexus, eventually Rey is able to hear the Force Ghost voice of Yoda in the background, where Yoda is said to know something very important about her father. It's explained that Yoda's Force Ghost explains to Rey that it was her father who would regularly travel here to the Land of Warriors and collected and protected Jedi and Sith lore, and that her father too was force sensitive just like Rey. Yoda reveals through though he was no Jedi, he knew the force very well and that he is somewhere in the beyond and that the Lost City will guide her to the beyond with proper self-training in the Lake of Dreams. The sequence in which Yoda reaches out to Rey in the form of a force ghost voice is said to be a very brief sequence during her time in the Land of Warriors. So the thing that I find so very intriguing about this is that Yoda reveals to Rey that though her father was no Jedi, he really knew the Force very well. And not only that, it was her father who would regularly come to the Lost City and was even responsible for really keeping up many of the different Jedi structures and even the Sith structures and the artifacts, the relics, etc. Now what I like about this is that Yoda's Force Ghost is said to give Rey a little bit of a lesson, if you will, about the Lost City being a Force Nexus and how her father is indeed Force sensitive. Now on top of all of this, we do know that Rey goes here for two reasons. One of which is to understand the Force, the Dark, and the Light better and on top of all of that, she's also looking to learn more about her parents. Very similar to what happened in the mirror cave scene in The Last Jedi, where she goes underneath the surface of the island of Ock 2, and she wants to seek more answers about her parents, about all these different questions that she has. So with that being said, this movie really is going to center on Rey's parentage a lot in the second and third act. In fact, J.J. Abrams confirmed this over at Star Wars Celebration that, well, we are going to learn a lot about Rey's parents in episode nine. There's a lot more to tell about their story, and that's all going to, to be explained, and we're all going to understand exactly what, how, what happened well before the events of the sequel trilogy and everything in between. So the other thing that I do want to go over is, of course, how the Lost City itself is considered to be a force nexus now in case you guys have no idea what that is that is a concentration of the force basically Dagobah is a force nexus or at least the cave is so the dark side cave was a force nexus that Luke Skywalker went through it's why he sees the vision of Darth Vader and how he fights him and everything around those lines and it's also you know a great reason as to why Yoda was able to hide himself on Dagobah hiding himself from Palpatine because he was shrouded from the dark side of the force so very interesting fact there now on top of all of this the one thing that I do want to go over as well is how it said that Yoda reveals about Rey's father, you know, how he would regularly come to the Lost City and keep everything up with the Land of Warriors and collected and protected Jedi and Sith lore. And what's really exciting about this is that Yoda mentions that the Lake of Dreams is a place of self-training in order to discover many different secrets about one's past and about one's future. So the Lake of Dreams, in case you guys haven't been following, it's said to be one of the big meditation sessions for Rey in The Rise of Skywalker that was of course originally intended for The Last Jedi in the, in, inside the island of Octu. 
that was ultimately scrapped and cancelled and saved for episode 9. Now, J.J. Abrams exploring that idea in this movie really is going to be a very interesting side of Star Wars. You know, different training styles, I think, is a necessity at this point to kind of mix it up a bit. You know, of course, in The Last Jedi, we got minimal training between Luke and Rey. It was really just a little lesson, if you will, here and there. Other than that, she was being guided on the rock and doing all those crazy things, and that was it. But other than that, guys, I will say that this film does have a lot of potential to mark itself down as the best of the sequel trilogy and to really gear itself as the best of, you know, the sequel trilogy when it's compared to, you know, other Star Wars films out there. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.